This is SCAC Women's Basketball Media Days, and joining us today from Seguin, Texas, is the defending SCAC champion, Texas Lutheran Bulldogs, head coach Mel Dixon, and senior guard Carissa Cantu. And first of all, we want to thank both of you so much for taking the time out and discussing the upcoming season with us. Thanks for having us. Coach Dixon, let's start with you. Uh, obviously, last season, a magical season for the TLU Bulldogs. Um, you know, it was a team that maybe a lot of people didn't expect to win this conference championship, but you guys most certainly did. Now you come into 2014-15 as one of the favorites and with the target on your back. What have you told your team, what have you talked to your team about, uh, you know, handling that pressure going into the year? Uh, well, James, we just talk about uh, playing hard and, competing we you know last year was a great year it was a historical year for women's basketball at TLU but like I told the kids when we got back together in August uh, you know when they returned to school uh, last year was last year uh, it was great you know everything went well for us but this season is a new season everybody starts at zero and zero and uh, we need to get back to work and try to improve over the, the season. So, you know, last year was a great thing. We're, we're very proud of it, but you can't live in the past. And uh, the girls understand that. They've been working hard. I've been very impressed with the leadership of my senior class. And uh, I think we're going to look to try to, you know, compete again for the championship. Uh, you know, you've got the traditional powers, Trinity and Southwestern, and everybody else, to be real honest, I was really surprised how some of the teams moved up the ladder a little bit. Uh, Shriner looked really good at the end of the year. University of Dallas, I was very impressed with them during the tournament. So it's not, it's not going to be easy by any means, and we don't expect it to be. And to be real honest, if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth winning. So we're going to work our little heinies off and uh, try to get back to the level we were last year. And, Coach, simply just share with me uh, just kind of the expectations and the goals for the team uh, going into this upcoming season. Well, we don't really write any goals down. Uh, I think the girls have been with me long enough to know what I expect from them. And, you know, sometimes you write them down, sometimes you don't. I didn't feel like we had to write anything down. We, we won a conference championship last year. We got to the NCAA tournament. And to be real honest, uh, I don't think anything has to be said. We want to get back there to that level again and win at that level. And I don't think I had to have them write that down for them to know what we want to try to do. Now, will we do it? That's, that's another question. But I don't, we didn't actually write something down as a goal. And they know what I expect from them. They know what they expect from themselves. This is a very self-motivated team. Very seldom do I have to say anything to them. And I, in, I guess this is my 38th year to coach, I believe, something like that, long time. Uh, I don't ever talk about winning and losing games. I talk about playing hard, getting after it, competing. If, if we'll do that, we can hang with anybody. If we don't do that, we won't win. So they know what I expect. And uh, so far, during the uh, preseason and the scrimmage, we're, we're looking pretty decent. Carissa, let me turn to you. Uh, this team's going to open up on Saturday on the road at the University of Texas, Dallas. Um, just tell me simply just the excitement level among the team uh, and, and the program uh, just to get underway with a new season. We're very excited. I mean, ever since we got back to school, we were excited to start a new journey because, as Coach Dixon said, it's a new year. Everybody's um, zero and zero. So we're excited to start playing games, the scrimmages. We played a D1 team and a D2 team, so we're really excited to have our first actual game against a D3 team and see where we're at with the D3 school. Uh, Carissa, let me stay with you here. Uh, as you guys have gone through preseason, just from your perspective, uh, what have you seen from the team throughout preseason practices as you, as you gear up for the regular season? 
Um, I think each and every practice we've gotten better. I mean, we come together more. Um, a lot of us are the, we have a lot of girls, same girls back, but we also have to learn to come together. We had a whole summer off, and so we have to come together again and learn each other um, once again and stuff like that. But I think we're coming together and gelling pretty good. Coach Dixon, uh, there's five seniors on this team, uh, including Carissa. Uh, just tell me how vital they are to this team's success, and especially on a leadership standpoint. How, how, how great have they been as leaders on this team? Well, they are the leaders of this team. Uh, the four seniors that actually start games for us, uh, all four of them are leaders. Uh, Carissa came in last year, and, and uh, to be real honest, I was – sort of mean to her and wouldn't let her start and I said you know we've had people here three and four years she deserved to start she was one of my best if not the best player I had but she took a back seat to a senior point guard which shows a lot of class by her uh, Chelsea Stoley she's been here this will be her fourth year uh, Chelsea's improved immensely over the summer she's a lot better than she has been uh, Natalie Vela, good three-point shooter. She works hard. She uh, she's improved a lot in the last two years defensively, and she'll go in there and compete for rebounds, which she used to not do because in high school all she did was shoot threes and watch them go in and run backwards. Well, all of them don't go in against college players, so she's improved a lot. Bianca Casas has made major strides and. Uh, sort of a crazy story about her. She had uh, LASIK surgery this sum summer, and now she tells me she can see the basket. And, uh, you know, I'm going, well, why didn't we see the basket the first three years you were here? But <laughs> she's been playing very well uh, and shooting the ball much better than she has since she's been here. Uh, she's a leader. Uh, all four of my seniors that start out the game are all leaders. And then we have a girl named uh, Katie Moore, Katie Moore is probably the most intelligent basketball player we have. I any offense, defense, anything I do, Katie knows what everybody should do, not just what she should do. She's going to make a really good coach if she'll go into the coaching profession. And so she's a leader even though she doesn't start or play a whole bunch of minutes. Uh, without this senior class, we'd be a little bit lost. Uh, but we have some other kids, Taylor Dalowitz, uh, Jr., that's a leader, too, and uh, one of our better players. So uh, we got leadership up and down, so the roster. So we feel real happy with the leadership we have on this team. Carissa, let me come back to you. Uh, hearing that from your coach and everything, especially about the senior senior group, just tell me the important is, importance it is and what it means to you uh, to be one of the leaders on this team. Um, I think it means a lot. I mean, he doesn't tell us that all the time. It's very rare we get to hear things like that come out of his mouth. So when you do, it definitely means a lot, and you do realize that you are a leader, and um, all, five, all five of us seniors are leaders, and we all have to show leadership at times and we all show it in different ways so it's really important for all of us to show our leadership qualities bring them together this is SCAC Women's Basketball Media Days. We're here with the Texas Lutheran Women's Basketball Team, Head Coach Mel Dixon, Senior Guard Carissa Cantu. Uh, Coach, coming back to you, let's break down the team a little bit. Uh, let's go into the backcourt with, with your guards and perimeter players, and uh, just tell me what you've seen from that group throughout the preseason and, and some players that maybe stand out to you going into the regular season. Okay. Uh, guards are pretty much the backbone of our team, uh, and we got – people that I call swing people like Taylor Didalowitz. She can play inside, she can play outside. Kristen Lai can play inside, play outside. And now neither one of them's a really big kid. They're 5'9", probably. Uh, and, but they can play in inside or out. Plus, like we have Cantu, Vela, um, Casas, all good guards. Uh, so they can play it and they can shoot it and they can defend a little bit. Now, they don't defend as much as I want them to defend, but in their minds, they're playing really good defense. Uh, but uh, uh, we're really happy with those kids. So, you know, and then we've got people coming off the bench. Savannah Height 
was an honorable mention all-conference player as a freshman last year, 5'10 guard out of San Antonio. Uh, she led us in steals, actually, last year. So we, we have some people that can play in the backcourt, and, and we're really happy with those kids. Coach, and let, let's move into the front court with your with your post players uh, and ask uh, the same question as your back court. What, what are you seeing from these front court players and, and who you think will be able to uh, uh, step up going into the season? Well, uh, like I said earlier, uh, Chelsea Stoley, our 6'4 post kid, has improved quite a bit in the last year. Uh, we're looking for some pretty good things out of her. Taylor Dowdalowitz plays the four for us. And she was a third-team all-conference kid, and she's gotten better. And and uh, Kristen Lai comes in, and plays the four some, and she'll do a good job in there. She she'll get in there and compete for rebounds. And uh, then we have Autumn Shed, who is a junior. That's the backup five, and she played well. And we've seen some improvement in her offensive abilities this year. She's better than she was last year, and she's always played pretty decent defense, and she'll mix it up pretty good, too. She's a pretty tough kid. So I think up and down the line, uh, we've seen some improvements in some of our kids. In our sophomore class, a lot of them have gotten better uh, over the summer. And it, it makes it for, you know, when you got that many kids that compete against each other in practice every day, it, it really helps your team because you get better because if you don't, you lose your spot real quick. So we're, we're really happy with the way we're going. And uh, I think we're going to – we'll be in the hunt. I, I know that. Chris, I'll come back to you. Just tell me, with uh, Coach being in his third year now, just tell me what, what, what it's like playing for Coach Dixon and how he, how he pushes his team and gets them prepared for, uh, for games throughout the season. Um, I love playing for Coach Dixon. I mean – I, out of all my coaches, he's definitely up there, top one and two. I mean, my dad's been with my coach, so he's up there with him. <laughs> um, but I love playing for him. It's not so much he doesn't have to tell you a lot. Like you said earlier, he doesn't tell us a lot. He kind of, like, gives you a look or he does a little something that you know you need to pick it up or you know what you did wrong or his sarcastic little ways. You know you know what you did wrong or you know what you did right sometimes. So, I mean, he's, he's an awesome coach to play for overall. <laughs> Coach, I'll come back to you. Um, there's only three newcomers on this team. Obviously, you, you had a lot of girls returning, so not as big of a recruiting class. But still, tell me, what have they been able to do? What have they brought to the practice? Uh, what have they brought to practice throughout preseason? And how are they going to impact this team? Well, uh, you know, as far as what they brought to practice, they they brought a. Uh, I'm trying to phrase this nicely. A uh, attitude of no fear, I guess is what you'd say. You know, the, and like I tell every recruit when we bring them in as freshmen, you know, you were the top dog your senior year in high school, and, you know, everybody else was below you. Well, it just flipped on you. Now you're at the bottom of the food chain where you used to be the shark, now you're the minnow. So, uh, you know, they, they've they come in with wide eyes and looking around, trying to not screw up and get yelled at too much. But uh, we only brought in three kids. Uh, so uh, two guards uh, and one post kid. And I think eventually uh, at least one of them will make, make an impact a little bit. Uh, it's a kid out of New Braunfels High School that she's been coming to our games ever since she was a little kid. And... You know, we were in a fight to recruit her with some other D3s, and we ended up landing her. And she's already made some pretty good impressions. She she may be, to be real honest, she may be our de best defensive player because she gets after it on the defensive end. Well, now we've got to have a little work on the offensive end, but uh, Jasmine Salcedo is her name, and she gets after the defense. So uh, she's made quite an impression on me and I think the other – the older kids too so I think she may have some impact before this year is over with we'll get you both out on this final question Carissa I'm going to start with you uh, for the team to reach its uh, to, to reach its potential expectations uh, what, what are going to be some of the keys to success 
Um, I think staying focused, and definitely in this conference, you have no games off, and so we have to stay consistent. Um, every game we have to be ready for a good, intense game and bring our A game every single game, night in and night out. Um, everybody just stay together as one team, and I think we'll be okay. We'll definitely, definitely shooting for the conference championship. I'll ask you the same question. What will be uh, what will be some of the keys to success for TLU in 14-15? Uh, like, can't, uh, let's fix the color can too, but she didn't like that. Uh, Carissa said, uh, to be real honest, what I was worried about in August, to be real honest, was uh, focus. You know, it's hard. Well, first of all, it's hard to repeat in any sport, and it's going to be hard hard to repeat in women's basketball with the good teams we have in our conference because I look back and it hadn't been done very often in the SCAC or SCAC sorry. so uh, somebody repeating seldom happens and uh, so I was worried about you know did we did we have a great season yes did we win the SCAC yes did we go to the NCAAs yes now are the kids satisfied with that was that their year, or are we going to work hard for this coming season? And and to be real honest, I was very concerned about that. But once we got back, and I saw their focus in the off season stuff, and the uh, weight room, and all that, I I finally think that that's not going to be the problem. But you know, to repeat, uh, it, it's not going to be easy, and. We, we've got our work cut out for us, and like you said, now that we finally won something here, we do have a target on our back, and uh, we're going to get everybody's best shot, and that's the way it should be. And uh, th that's what we think. And, you know, of course, you know, if injuries can, you know, wipe out a pretty good team real quick, so hopefully we can stay healthy uh, and do all our good stuff, and we'll see what happens. But... I think we're going to be, like I said a while ago, I think we got a really good shot to be in the hunt. You know, will we win it? We don't know. Uh, but we're going to give it our best shot. And if we good enough to win, we will. If we're not, we won't. But I think we can compete with anybody in the conference. This has been SCAC Women's Basketball Media Days with the Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs. Head coach Mel Dixon, senior guard Carissa Cantu. And uh, we, we, again, we appreciate your time today to discuss the upcoming season. And we wish you and the rest of the team good luck in 2014-15. Thank you. Thank you.